Hi, my name is Dale Plussell. I'm the head football coach at Dubuque Senior High School, and I'm here to talk about quick, our quick game a little bit. Um, like a lot of teams in the country, uh, we're a no-huddle team. Uh, we've incorporated RPOs into our offense. Uh, the days of just lining up and throwing quick game uh, are, not, are few and far between anymore. Mostly now people are tagging their quick game onto run plays, RPOs, things like that. We do a, a fair amount of that as well, but we still do have a couple concepts that we just run as our quick game, and I'm just going to talk about one of them today, and hopefully this will give you a little bit of an idea of what you can do and incorporate into your offense. Uh, we're mostly a spread team, a lot of four receivers, some three receivers with two backs in the backfield. I'll show you two different formations that you can do this concept out of uh, with the quick game. Uh, first of all, um, with our quick game, uh, we want to make sure we're trying to get the ball one out of the quarterback's hands quickly, but get the ball to guys with green grass to run. The whole idea is to get the ball to our athletes, let them run. Uh, yes, we are looking at the defense and looking at defenders on who we're going to throw to, pre-snap decisions and all that. But a big part of this is where's their green grass and where is there an area that we can get the ball to our athletes, okay? So first formation we'll work out of is more of a two-back formation where you might have um, both a, a halfback and a fullback in the game. Sorry about that. With two receivers here, one receiver here. This concept is a three receiver concept to one side and a one or two receiver concept to the other side. Everything will start in our quick game with what we call gifts. Do we have a gift? Our first gift would always be the single receiver side. Our single receiver on this would be running a hitch. Okay, we, uh, uh, in our terminology. Now, I'll, just like most people, uh, it's a hitch fade rule. If we get a press corner, he's gonna convert to a fade. Any off corner, we're gonna work to a hitch. So the back side of this route is always gonna have this concept built into it. The front side of our route is a snag or spot concept. And on that side of the concept, we are basically running a corner route by our number two receiver, breaking at 10 to 12 yards based on his release. Okay, our, number, our outside receiver, our number one receiver, is running the snag or the spot. It's basically a four yard sit route right inside the stem of our number two receiver. Our third receiver is coming out of the backfield in this scenario, and if he's at a depth by the quarterback, we're just going to probably flare him. Okay. So in that situation, uh, this would potentially be our extra protect guy, or we could release him as well onto a route. Very simple read for our quarterback. First and foremost, our quarterback's going to look pre-snap at the gift. Is the gift there? The gift could be a soft corner where we can throw the hitch. The gift could also be this is our best receiver against not a very good corner on press coverage, and we're going to throw the fade. If we like this matchup, this is the first thing he's going to do. So he's going to get the snap. As soon as he gets the ball from the snap, we're throwing it right now, no steps, just getting rid of the ball as fast as we can to this guy. If this is dead because we don't like it on the pre-snap look, we are then going to the three-man concept, the snag concept on uh, this side. As the quarterback gets the ball, he is going to look at leverage out here and see where there's green grass and see how they are, they are playing us. So if we are getting a corner that is pressed, he wants to see the eyes of that guy to see is he pressing that guy, is he playing off, that's going to give him an idea where there's going to be more green grass. If he's off, the green grass is going to be more in that flat area. If he's up, the green grass might be behind him. At that point, he will read what the flat defender is doing. Who's the flat defender? Is it the corner pressed or is it the outside linebacker? Most times it is going to be that outside linebacker. So his eyes would go to that outside linebacker, all right? and basically all we're doing on that is doing a horizontal stretch on that outside linebacker. All right, we are making him either cover the sit route or the snag, or cover the flare. If he covers the, the flare or the snag, we'll dump it off to the flare route and let him run and get some yards. If he works for width, we're going to pop it to the snag route. We are working the corner route versus any too high corner, hard defense, or man. That is our man beater built in in case we do get a man to man concept. Okay, so. Uh, for the quarterback, his timing on this is gift, yes, I get the ball, I throw it to him as soon as I can. We call that a zero step drop. We're going to take the ball, get our feet set, we're delivering it to him right away. If he's going to work the snag or the spot side, he will get the ball, he'll basically take one big step, too quick to get his feet set. That gives him time to read that flat defender and now he can deliver that ball 
to whoever he needs to, to deliver it to based on what the defense is doing. Okay, so uh, the fullback we, we put in there in case we want a sixth protector to help protect the quarterback. We can also do this with him split out or another receiver split, uh, split out to give it even more of a spread idea. Okay, very simple concept for a quarterback. It's a quick either vertical or horizontal stretch depending on who the man-to-man -man defender is.